Hey everyone, I look like a wild and crazy person, don't I? This is Watch Yellowstone. If you haven't watched it already, but I'm gonna tell you what is I think the number two problems when I go visiting people is one is nothing's organized. Nobody's organized. Um, and I think it's it's um, manifest through people's anxiety uh, or the, today's stress. Who has the time to organize their closet? I mean, uh, if you get a vacation, I think there should be people, some people just take a vacation to organize their house. Yeah. Because in a normal work day, by the time you finish taking out the trash and cooking and doing the dishes, you know, it, it's, where's the time if you're working? But I do firmly believe in a whiteboard where you put on there in small print, because it's going to get full very soon, if not immediately, um, everything that you need to do. Because as us baby boomers get older, we have lapses of memory where um, we will forget what is a priority and I would label it A, B, or C on your whiteboard. A means it's going to cost you money if you don't do it, right? Um, yeah, so that is the thing is people just unorganized. They have clutter. Clutter is a huge thing in every house that I've been in. Another thing is, uh, I think one time I just got a dump truck and loaded it up, took everything out of my garage that I knew. I figured if it was in the garage for three or four years and I hadn't touched it, that I didn't need it. Went in the dump truck, went to the dump. Now I have taken car loads of stuff to Goodwill, but I think Goodwill is a scam. The man who owns it is a multi-millionaire, I'm sure. Uh, I would take it to women's shelters, homeless shelters, thrift stores. Now, the other thing that I notice when I visit people is their animals. Their animals have chewed up their furniture. Uh, they've made their house extremely dirty because uh, I know this is what I used to do, keep a wet cloth near the door when the dogs would come in. I had nine wieners. I've always had dogs my whole life. Um, keep a wet old rag near the door and wipe off your dog's feet if you can. Or get rugs that can go in the washer machine. Just make sure they don't have rubber backing because uh, Sometimes if the rubber backing is mildewed or old, it'll fall apart in your washer and destroy your washer. So, yeah, it's the animals. They need to have a designated feeding area. They need to have their designated bowls. And they need to be disciplined. And uh, a lot of people don't have time to even train their dogs. You know? If you don't have time to train your dog, then maybe you should have a dog. Because... They deserve that. They need to know what is, um, they need to be able to stop in their tracks. You need to teach them that. Uh, nothing's worse than a dog running across the street coming after you. Because that happened to me. Coming after you. Um, they need to know what stop means. They need to know what it's like to be on a leash. Yeah, animals have done so much damage. Uh, I remember one of my mother's dogs that were just dropped off by one of my siblings, I guess. I don't know. I don't remember. But, but ate the legs off her rocking chair. You know? Uh, so... That's why you need to learn to discipline your, your animals. Now, I don't know about cats. They don't take 
discipline from anybody that I know of. I don't know. I had a cat for 26 years. And that cat uh, was smart as a whip. My dog taught her just to go outside. I never, I, I would never have a litter pin in the house. My sense of smell is so um, sensitive, I should say. So, yeah, those are the two things that I think are pressing so many people is the, the dogs. And the thing of it is, when you get a dog, you better have someone that you trust to watch them when you go away or take them with you. I don't know. And I just noticed that some hotels want an extra pet deposit, you know? Yeah, it's expensive having an animal. It's not cheap. I, 